The garbage can is flat. Our garbage man, I mean our, you know, the collector, he, he always leaves our garbage can on the ground. I'm not sure why he does that. I'm thinking maybe it's the way I'm setting the garbage can up and he, I don't know. I've got to figure this out. I think, I told John, I think what I'm going to do um, is make sure that the garbage, the front of the garbage can is facing the front. Um, hopefully. I'm using my wide angle lens today, so hopefully you guys get more of a view while I'm driving. <laughs> like sometimes when I'm filming, I just get, it's just too, well, we'll just see what happens here. Um, and hopefully the microphone's okay. I'm not going to talk to you when I'm on the highway because I will be getting on the, actually the interstate today to go, because uh, I'm, I'm going to go meet a friend, but um, I didn't want to, uh, well, I'm going to go meet a friend. I'm not going to vlog or anything because it's, you know, it's a personal like friend meeting and I'm not going to be vlogging, but um, afterwards, gosh, I think the camera is shaking. Okay, I'm going to go in. Oh, and I'm going to uh, meet my friend for lunch and then I'll check back in with you. I have to show you this amazing salad. So, let me fix my camera here. I had a salad for lunch and this is called an an antipasta salad. There's no pasta in there. There's cheese. There's artichoke. Um, I think there's salami. And <laughs> oh my gosh, olives. This was so good. I'm bringing this whole container back, but I ate half of it. That's how huge this salad was. But it is so good. So I'm probably going to um, finish this for my dinner tonight. So I am down here. That's our little lake over there, but you can hardly see it in the gazebo. And it's just so pretty here when when they get it all lit up at Christmas, but I don't see anything for Christmas yet. So maybe they are waiting to do all of that. So I need to shut my salad because it's sitting right here and I, I stuck my elbow in it. So now I'm going to smell like this salad. It was good, but I don't want to smell like it. So I think I'm going to pop an Altoid in my mouth and I'm going to run over to King Supers and check out, which is our Kroger brand store, and I'm going to check out um, what's on sale. So that's my plan. And yeah. And I was talking to my friend. Oh, it's a home. We have a lot of homeless walking through here all the time. But, gosh, I know that's like just the sign of the times, sadly. But I am going to run over to the, our Kroger brand store, our King Supers, and see if I can find a turkey and see if I can find um, some stuff to make. Sweet potato casserole and just the stuff I need for our to take to our Thanksgiving dinner that I'm I'm not cooking, I'm just taking a couple of sides. So yeah, anyway, oh my goodness. I'll check back in with you guys um, and, and to see, see what I end up buying. So I did get this turkey, 77 cents a pound, and it was like $22 and something. So it wasn't a huge turkey, but I just wanted, yeah, here's the tag, $22.50, and it was 12.57 pounds. So I'm going to put that in the freezer, and uh, the 77 cents a pound is the best I could do. I didn't have any for the 59 or whatever I saw before, and this one will be fine. So it's going in the freezer, and at some point I will cook it up. And this is my haul, y'all. Let me, I was trying to get it organized a little bit. So I got some bananas, and these are the Chiquita ban bananas, and I got five of those. And I got some Chobani um, yogurt. I haven't got this in a while, and I've been having a sweet tooth, and I thought, okay, I'm going to get some of these. This is the Flip. It's the Key Lime Crumble. It's really good, and they had it, had it on sale, um, and I just thought, I'm going to grab this. And um, they have yogurt on one side, and then there's a little, the little uh, divider, and then they have the little crumbles on the other side, which... Or I think kind of like graham crackers it looks like but then yeah graham crackers and white chocolate and um, 
so you mix them when you're ready to eat it because then you uh, these don't get soggy. Anyway, it's nice and crunchy. I like that. And I bought some yams, canned yams. I know people like to do like the fresh yams. I used to do fresh yams for Thanksgiving and Christmas, but uh, my son and I are the only ones uh, that like sweet potatoes, and I just make like a mashed, mashed but like mashed potatoes, but with sweet potatoes, and I do brown sugar and butter, and I put little marshmallows on top, and I like to do the colored marshmallows, but um, they didn't have them, so I just got these, and they were on sale. So these were actually a dollar for a bag, so I got those. I went ahead and picked up some canned pumpkin. Uh, I had some downstairs in my sub pantry, but my overflow pantry, but I decided uh, to just buy a couple since they did have it. And if I can't get my hands on a pumpkin pie this year, I'm not going to, I mean, if I can't get a Sam's Club, I will make a pumpkin pie before I will buy another kind of frozen pumpkin pie because that would even be better. Um, I went ahead and bought some hot cocoa. This, I bought the, uh, and I had the Swiss Miss um, Keurig cups, but I got this Dunkin' because it was cheap. It was, uh, let's see, it was less sugar. Same calories, 70 calories, but it had about half the sugar as the um, Swiss Miss. So that's why I went with this. I, I always kind of watch my sugar intake. And that's so, that will help me cut back on sugar. I, I did get Altoids, but I got cinnamon and I got peppermint. And I mean, I do eat sugar, obviously, but um, I don't eat these every day. I have been having hot chocolate several times a week. So, okay, I got some of this Pike's Place uh, Keurig cups um, because there are times when John, we make coffee in the morning when he's home and he's off, he's going to be off for a week. And the coffee is so, he likes really strong coffee and I don't. So I got this just for those times when the coffee pot is just too, too strong and I just want not quite a strong coffee and um, just to have on hand. So, cause there's been a couple times where John made the coffee and it was just really strong and I would rather have something like this. So I got that. And then I got some of the oat milk, non-dairy oat beverage and um, the simple truth. And I got some of this and I've never bought this before, the premier protein cereal, uh, 20 grams of protein, excellent. So, okay. And it was decent sugar, so I thought the macros weren't too bad. And I don't know, but I was just thinking I might have that for breakfast with the oat milk some morning, or I might even have that for dinner. There are just some times that in the evening, I just don't need a big dinner anymore. And something like this would be good. And this is chocolate almond cereal, so it's almost like eating dessert for dinner. So, uh, you know, why not? So, and then I, I haven't bought this in a while, but I grabbed some of this turkey smoked sausage. They had them two for $6. And I'm gonna just slice them up and cook them with onions and peppers and serve them over rice. So, uh, yeah, and I'll probably put one in the freezer and one just in the fridge. You know, I just it just sounded good for kind of a lighter dinner. And that was my haul, y'all. So I'm really happy with the turkey. Um, I just really wanted to have one. My plan is to cook it and uh, and then put it in the freezer and then have it ready just to stick in the oven sometime. Um, that's my plan. But since I bought it frozen, I am going to keep it in the freezer until I'm ready to cook it. And I'm not. I don't think. I don't know if I'm hosting Christmas, but if I am, I'm all set. Unless I've got a big crowd, and then I could cook this ahead. And then if I need another smaller turkey, I can do that because I'm cooking them ahead and freezing them, and then. The day of Christmas or the day that I'm hosting dinner, I just stick them in the oven. It works really, really well. Um, and then I got my sweet potatoes and yeah, it was just a nice little day. I had a, a, a great lunch, um, nice visit with my friend and I got, you know, I was able to get quite a bit done too. So John and I, John and I actually have a eye doctor appointment in about 30 minutes, 45 minutes. So he's going to come home from work and we're going to go do that. And because it's later in the day and by the time we get home will be dark and our eyes will probably still be dilated. Um, I'm, I don't know, I'm probably just gonna heat some leftovers up for dinner. Or I might have cereal, like seriously. That actually sounds really good. So uh, that's gonna be our simple little dinner tonight. <laughs> I don't know, he wouldn't have cereal for dinner. I'll have to think of something for him. I might just make heat him up some chicken and rice. I still have some of that in the freezer. So 
that's that's kind of what's going on in my world today let me know in the comments how you're doing and are you cooking a turkey are you hosting the holidays do you know yet i mean some of us just really don't know until it gets closer because there's just a lot of changes going on right now so and people get sick and like a lot of people i know have just kind of gotten sick last minute and plans are changing but that's the way of the world and we just be flexible and keep those high vibes going right as much as possible <laughs> all right thank you so much for hanging out with me today and i do hope that you're doing well take really good care and i will see you on the next one do you know how much i love you want to see you smile where's the happy girl that i know with the heart on